A week ago, I uploaded a video where Marius Leicht and myself compared his vintage Profit 5 Rev 3 with my new Profit 10 Rev 4 as a blind test. This video is the result of that test, along with some explanations and thoughts. 148 people submitted a full set of answers. Thank you to you all. Nobody got none out of nine. One person got one out of nine. Nine people got two out of nine. 17 people, three out of nine. 28 people, four out of nine. 37 people, five out of nine. 31 people, 6 out of 9, 14 people, 7 out of 9, 11 people, 8 out of 9, and nobody got 9 out of 9. Out of 1,332 answers, 740 were correct and 592 were incorrect. So that's a 55 to 45% split. So on the face of it, people weren't with any level of consistency able to identify whether they were listening to a Rev3 or a Rev4. However, looking at the breakdown, more people were right than wrong for seven out of nine of the examples. The one most people got right was example three. 97 of you identified this as the Rev3. And this as the Rev4. Close behind were four and six. This is the Rev3. And this is the Rev4. And this is the Rev3. And this is the Rev4. At the other end, for example, 7, 85 people were unable to identify this as the Rev3. And this as the Rev4. And lastly, for example 9, 75 people were unable to identify this as the Rev3. And this as the Rev4. So what did we learn? There is a lot of crossover, but the Rev3 is more present in the mids and highs, which was surprising, but that was the result. Conversely, the Rev4 had more bottom end at times. The Rev3 also has a wider modulation range for certain parameters. This is the same if I compare my Rev4 with my Vintage Pro 1, where the equivalent of the maximum setting on the Rev4 is at around 8 out of 10 on the Pro 1, so you can push it a little bit further on the Vintage units. So that's the end of this little experiment. I think the answer for me is that there isn't one narrow way in which something can sound A good or B like a profit. I think there's a broader range in which things sound pleasing to our ears or have that profit vibe. So I guess the differences between them are a bit like there's a Rev 1 and a Rev 2 and a Rev 3. Well now there's a Rev 4 uh, and they're all part of the same family. There's little differences between them but they all sound absolutely fantastic. If you've got a vintage one take care of it, love it, look after it, maintain it, cuddle it up at night. Um, but I remain over the moon to have a Rev4. So I hope this was interesting for the people who asked to do this. Um, huge thank you to Marius, thank you to Sequential, and thank you for watching. <laughs>